Hi guys, my name is Zeus. Welcome back to my channel and sorry for not uploading a video uh, sooner But here we are and we are going to be talking about the movie Nomadland The other day I asked my girlfriend to help me out to find a topic for today's video And I know that even though Nomadland is one of the best movies of the year and it'll probably win the best movie Oscar I had been struggling trying to find something that would be, you know, worth discussing because I didn't want to make a standard movie review for Nomadland since I find those very boring and long on were the days when I got super excited when I saw that Chris Tuckman uploaded a new review. No disrespect to Chris though because I've been watching his videos for the past 8 years now. But anyways, I just didn't want to tell you guys that oh Nomadland has this great cinematography, the directing and acting is excellent. And yeah, I just find those really, really boring. Um, so that's why I was struggling to find a topic. And I also want to mention that I really didn't like the music in this movie. Um, sometimes it was really good, and some other times it was really cheesy and really obvious with what it wanted to make you feel, which I just, um, I just find that to be a little bit cheap. So there I was, trying to find a way to start writing my essay when my girlfriend said that Nomadland was too sad of a movie. And yes, Fern, the protagonist, sure had many sad moments during the movie, but I told my girlfriend that if she really wanted to escape her nomad lifestyle, she could have done it at almost any point in the movie. She had a sister and a guy that really liked her and both offered her a way out. So we were discussing this and then after a while my girlfriend said that it still just felt like she was so lonely throughout the movie. And that's when I got what she meant. Fern had been a nomad for a few years by the time that the movie started and even though she's almost always with someone, she's always alone. But before I actually start the essay, I guess I should probably tell you a little bit about the plot of this movie. Fern, a woman who lost her house and her husband during the Great Recession, becomes a contemporary nomad living in her van and traveling around America trying to look for a job. I should also mention that we don't know exactly when her husband passes away, he had cancer and she took care of him some time before they lost their house. Like I said before, Fern is almost never alone in this movie. She has a few friends and at some point she lives in sort of a nomad community with tons of other people like her. But somehow it still feels like she's always alone. Throughout the movie she gets close to stop being a nomad twice. Once when she reconnects with her sister and then again when she stays at Dave's son's house. Dave is also a nomad that likes Fern in a romantic way and even though sometimes it feels like Fern might like him back, she always pushes him away. This is where I started to connect the dots and I found what I wanted to talk about. At the beginning Fern seems to get along with Dave but she always shuts him down when he tries to be a little bit too friendly. And we later find out why. Fern tells one of her other friends that she's still married but that her husband passed away. I believe this is the reason why Fern won't leave her nomad lifestyle. I think that she's just too hurt to let herself feel comfortable again. After all, she did lose everything and there was literally no way that she could have seen this coming. One moment, she was living a happy, normal life with her husband and then she finds out that he has cancer. After he passes away, she loses her home and then she had nothing but a few personal possessions and her van. She took those and she never looked back. Fern doesn't want to leave her guard down and settle down because she doesn't want to feel like she has something and then that she might lose it again. She loves her sister and I'm pretty sure that if she didn't care about Dave, she wouldn't have visited him at the hospital or stayed at his son's house with him. That is why even though she has friends and people she cares about in her life, she never gets too close to them. And this is the reason why the movie feels so lonely. The way that Fern is coping with losing everything is by not letting herself get attached to anyone. And yeah, she does love her sister, but what I mean is that she doesn't want to have her being a regular part of her life. She doesn't want to have to wake up every day at her house and create any deeper bonds because she's too afraid of losing everything again. And yeah, she really doesn't want to go through the pain of losing any more people that she really cares about and she doesn't want to feel safe living at another house because there is really no guarantee that she won't lose it again. Fern embraced a nomad lifestyle not just because of how tough it is to find a job nowadays but because of what being a nomad represents. How it means that you'll never stay at one place long enough to get emotionally attached. 
She also doesn't want to let herself like Dave back since she's still married to her husband and doesn't want to dishonor his memory. Fern was hurt beyond what any of us can imagine and she decided that she wouldn't let it happen again so she became a nomad. I would like to think that at some point she heals and tries to settle down again, not necessarily getting married or anything like that but who knows, maybe being a nomad is just right for her. She really does struggle a lot, but in the end I believe that she genuinely enjoys her lifestyle. She is a very strong character and whenever life puts her down, she decides to rise back up. I don't know if I'm reading too much into the script and after all, so many times these videos are just misinterpretations of what the author wanted to say. So many times we just find meaning where there is none. But even though my interpretation of this movie may be wrong and not what Chloe Zhao wanted to say with her work, I think that my essay kinda still works. I think that for me the message of this movie is that there's so many ways to deal with loss or anything for that matter. We just gotta find a way to rise back up and everything will be okay. Because if Fern lost everything during the Great Recession like so many people did in real life and she got back on her feet and continued, why couldn't you? And now, as a side note, is this movie Nomadland gonna win the best movie award at the Oscars? I think it's probably got the best uh, chances to do it. Um, I personally think that this is the best movie that was nominated and I would really like to see this movie take the Oscar home. But who knows, uh, the Oscars have a very uh, predictable history. But at the same time, uh, for example, just last year, I really didn't think that Parasite was going to win um, anything other than probably best original script. But it got so many Oscars, so who knows. Uh, I do think that Nomadland has the best chance um, to win it. And I also think that it deserves it the most because it really uh, is an excellent movie in my opinion. Um, but yeah, who knows? We'll see on Sunday.